In today's video we will reveal how Giermseel Vera performed an incredible time traveling trick that impressed Pan and Teller on Fool Us. Let's do a quick rewind of what happened in the performance. Giermseel started off the performance by inviting Allison Pan and Teller on stage to participate in the magic trick. He said that he went to the future saw tonight's results and emailed them to Pan and Teller backstage after coming back in time. He then had Pan check his cell phone if he had an unread email by him. It's unprofessional to have a phone on the set, but I'll do it anyway. Um, mail. Oh yes, I do. I do have an email from you right there. It's the, uh, the most recent one I got. Great. Let's get started. He took out a bunch of finger animals and asked Allison to place however many she liked on the fingers of her left hand. Allison selected the tiger, the fish, and the elephant. He's gonna eat my finger? No, I no. <laughs> I'm gonna get personal with him. <laughs> Sorry, fish. Oops, and I'll do a little elephant. He asked her to remove two of the puppets from her fingers. Allison removed the fish and the elephant. He then took out a dice from a bag and asked Teller to take however many he liked. Teller chose five dice out of the total seven in the bag. He then had Teller roll the five dice on the table and counted what number they added up to, which happened to be the number 12. One, one, three, Three, four. So I see that your total was 12. He took out a box of crayons and asked Penn to select one crayon. Penn selected the pink colored crayon. He took a map of the United States of America and asked Penn to color any one of the states. Penn colored the state of Massachusetts. For the finale of the performance, he asked Penn to open up the email and see what prediction he had sent before he came on stage. Upon reading through the email he had predicted exactly what Allison Pan and Teller had selected throughout the performance. Spoiler alert! If you accidentally clicked on this video, and don't want to know how such tricks work, I will give you 5 seconds to click off this video, but if you consider magic as a puzzle then stay tuned. Now before I get down to the reveal, I want to give a quick shout out to my wonderful patrons for supporting my work. Their support is a reason I am able to improve my content and upload more regularly. Before we get into the explanation, we will discuss some observations that will help us in solving this puzzle. Since this trick is a prediction trick, our initial theory will be that he used some sort of forcing technique so that Allison, Penn and Teller selected the desired outcomes. Let's start with Allison and see whether her selection was a free choice or not. He placed the box in front of Allison, you can see that the box contained finger puppets that were not duplicates and distinguishable from each other. After placing the box in front of Allison, he did not give any specific instruction to her, rather asked her to select whichever one she wanted. So her selection so far is a fair choice. But right after she completes her selection and chooses three finger puppets, he asks her to remove two of them. Even though this might appear suspicious as to why he had Alcyon removed the finger puppets that she already chose. He did not do any clever wordplay in order to execute a magician's choice force on her selection, and she genuinely did have a free choice to remove whichever puppet she wanted from her fingers. Therefore, we can conclude that Allison's selection was genuinely a free choice. Now let's see whether Teller's selection was a free choice. Since Teller's selection procedure involved dice, and dice are well known to be gimmicked by magicians in several ways, this may include being a loaded die, or die that have an unfair numbering on its sides. If we were to zoom up on the die, you can see that they do genuinely look like normal die as far as we can see. And when he asked Teller to select however many dice he wanted, it genuinely was his choice. So the resulting number that came up after Teller rolled the dice was completely random and fair. So far, we can conclude that he did not use any sort of force in his trick. Now, let's see whether Penn's selection used any kind of force, he offered Penn a box of crayons that had a total of 5 crayons inside it. Well, that is pretty odd that he had limited the amount of crayons that he could offer to Penn. But we can see that he did not make Penn go through a procedure to select the object and instantly allowed Penn to keep whatever colored crayon he wanted to select. Even after the selection of the crayon, Penn genuinely did have a free choice to select whichever state he wanted on the map. So no force was involved in the entire performance. Since our initial theory has been proved wrong, Let's see what Penn had to say in his code words that might help us in figuring out how this trick was done. 
You can see in the first hint Pen gave he did not even have to speak in code words rather directly said that he did not use any sort of force in his performance. And uh, there was no force. They were all free choices. This hint leads us to assume a second possible theory, that GRM sent the email after Penn's final selection. The only way to verify whether he sent the email after Penn's selection, is to check the time on the phone and compare it to the time that email arrived in Penn's inbox. In this zoomed-in image of Penn's phone, you can clearly see that the email was sent approximately 10 minutes before Penn checked his phone. Therefore our second theory is also debunked instantly. Let's see what else Penn had to say about his performance. We do the back, and you sent us an image from the past. For some reason Penn mentioned that he sent an image. But when we saw the email, it appeared to be a generic email containing only text without any signs of it being an image. Let's check the email that Penn received. Well upon clicking the email in his inbox you can see there are two emails that Penn received. The first email is a normal email in text form, but the second email says something that's very hard to read, but it's written in blue colored text. For those who are familiar with Gmail and use it on their cell phones, you may know that when an image is sent in an email, such text shows in a blue colored hyperlink, this text implies that an image has been sent. Well, even though it is pretty suspicious that he sent an image, it still doesn't add up. Since the email that contained this image was sent 10 minutes before the selections of Allison Penn and Teller were made. Before we get into the explanation, there's something odd about Penn's inbox. The first thing you'll notice is an email saying that he received an order from a website called michaelclose.com. Well, Michael Close appears in the credits of the show as one of the magic consultants on the show. If we were to logically think about it, why would Penn receive an email on his phone for receiving an order on a website that he does not own? Furthermore, if we were now to observe the profile picture, although it's hard to tell in this zoomed in image, but if we were to go on to Michael Close's YouTube channel, you can see that the profile picture on the email inbox is the same as Michael Close's YouTube profile picture. Now our suspicions are growing that this phone is not in fact Penn's phone at all. Because going further down the inbox you can see that GRM has sent an email to Michael that starts with, Hi Michael. So the phone that Penn is holding is actually a borrowed phone from one of the magic consultants on the show. Furthermore in the email that he sent to Michael Close, the subject reads, Internet Connection. This gives us a major hint that might just help us in debunking the entire trick altogether. If you have made it this far into the video, be sure to hit the like button it really supports the channel. Also be sure to subscribe, I would really appreciate it due to the time and effort I put into my videos. If you want to see more and more uploads, please support me on Patreon for a single dollar per month. I would really appreciate it wholeheartedly. One of the things that Penn mentioned in his code words was that, GRM was traveling back and forth into the past and future constantly. We do the back, and you sent us an image from the past. Well, obviously this does not mean that he literally was traveling into the past and future. Rather these were code words regarding GRM's email. The picture that he sent was not in fact a normal picture at all. The trick only could have worked if he sent a picture instead of a generic email containing only text, because the picture was a live image. In a live image, the contents inside the picture can be updated in real time, even after the image has been sent, because the image is coded in a special way to stay connected with the internet. This is also the reason why we spotted in the inbox, an email with the subject, internet connection, since the internet connection being active on the cell phone was the only way this trick could have succeeded. To help you understand and give a quick overview of how live images work. Here is quick demo showing how real-time API editing allows you to modify text on top of your images, even if the images have been sent in an email or campaign, it's great for showing live scores. You'll need Google Sheets and the script editor option in Google Sheets, you are going to paste a live image editing code on it. For example this image is for fundraising, it is going to show a live feed of how much money has been collected and everything's going to update from the Google Doc. You can see when we type anything in the Google Excel sheet, it updates on the live image. Now that you know how live images work, all GRM had to do, was have an assistant backstage, who was constantly updating the live image. This is exactly why Penn mentioned in his code words that he was transferring something from the past and the future. 
implying that the data of what selections Allison Teller and Penn made in the current real-time situation were being sent to the emailed live image that was sent before the trick started. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit the like button and feel free to comment which reveal you want to see next. Thanks for watching and as always, have a great day.